in the agenda today, we're going to talk about product analytics goals and key data elements, what you need to track and how do you make sense of it. Um, key metric you should track in global, in global economic volatility. We're going to look at some data, interesting data that uh, Gainsight has collected. Uh, also, how to define the B2B North Star metric and KPIs. Um, and understanding retention analysis for product market fit to growth. Um, and then really how to tie bookings and revenue to your product investment. Key product questions that you want to answer in terms of uh, um, what are you trying to achieve from your analytics? Um, how can you measure success, for example, of a new product and feature launch? I'm just launching a new feature. What should be my baseline, my goal? Um, are customers performing the intended product action we'd like them to take, the critical, critical action? How can I measure that and gain visibility to that? And how customers feel about your product or your brand or your company? That data input is also important. It's just something that they can tell you and can understand uh, the what behind the why. And how sticky is your product uh, and to which cohorts? We, as B2B, usually we are building platform. It's not a single or narrow type of very niche product. It tends to be a platform. Um, how sticky each feature is and the product is, uh, is also important. And what metrics should I use when I go to a, a QBR or EBR uh, sessions? So the basic entities they want to track is the user, obviously, the one that is the person that is using your product. Um, we do in Gainsight think about also the buyer, which might not be using the, the product, but needs to be informed about the value and usage. The events that the user do with your product, this is that something different than the user. I can be an admin, but what type of behavior am I doing? Account level in B2B is very, very important. Uh, I might see, uh, a very active user, but uh, from account lens, from account dimension, am, am I in a healthy state as a company? Uh, module and feature is a, should be a first class citizens in your analytics um, because a feature is something you've built and deliver value to your customer. It's not just a sporadic event. The, the third one was feature, feature usage. And we know that every product feature um, that is delivered yields valuable data. You're building features, you invest a lot of time from research to development to leases uh, to bug fixing. Every feature is very, very meaningful and has that uh, valuable data. So we try to also help you classify those features and address that in your analytics as, again as a first class citizens. There's events, but there's feature. A feature has a name, you deliver that, there's the deliver date, also a class of feature. Is it a core feature, sticky feature, competitive feature? You want to group them into those modules and saying, this is uh, my, my core features. When I measure them, I want to understand that on core, I'm doing great. Um, on the competitive feature, maybe it's a new feature. I expect it to be lower, lower adopted, but then growing up. And what is a uh, feature instrumentation? Um, this is where you're going to your engineering and asking them to write code to track your feature. In essence, feature instrumentation is really externalizing feature usage um, and user events for analysis. You want to expose how is feature, the feature is being used and send that data as part of that uh, feature usage. 